Hello, hello, good evening. Can you hear me? Hello, hello, good evening. <clears throat> good evening, teacher. Hi, girls. Uh, can you hear me well? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, thank you. Uh, I see Soveida, Maide, Veronica, and Ana Maria. How are you doing today? Fine, teacher. I'm doing fine. Thank you. Fine. Any great. Teacher? I'm great. I'm getting ready for the weekend. I have some activities in mind. And your day, teacher? Oh, My sure. day was really good. I have... Um, a new group of students in um, in my permanent job, and they are, um, I mean, they're new learning the language. They are teenagers, and it's really nice because they um, they want to learn, and um, I think that they are really, really, really interested in the language. So that is a good sign that they will be good English students in the near future. <laughs> they are just 13, 14, 15 years old, maximum. A little difficult <clears throat> for the age? Yeah, it's a little difficult, but these students in particular, they are from the public schools, but they are some of the best students in the in their schools so they have a lot of uh, capacity a lot of um, potential let's say potential that would be the word so they will be studying english for three years and um, in the end of the program i think they they will be really advanced in the language it's yeah, so it was a good day. It was a good day. We practice a lot. Now, I want to welcome you to the last class of this week. We are finishing the second week of the module one of the pre-intermediate level. So it's great. We are in the middle of, uh, we are halfway, okay? And that's, Great, because you can move on. You are almost ready to move to the next level. And well, I am going to start by asking you what you remember from yesterday's activities. What were we doing yesterday uh, during the class? Anybody who remembers? We had different activities to practice speaking, remember? Yesterday, practice the W questions. Uh huh. And what else? the time, formal time. Uh, we had some time expressions. Yes, we had some time expressions. We talked about the colors. We had an uh, interview. We had um, a little, let's say, survey and some conversations, right, to practice. And I sent you to the WhatsApp group, right, one um, picture, one picture with the exercise and the topic that you had to study a little bit at home. So I am going to show you that and we are going to share the answers, okay? Um, let me just open it up. Okay, um, we're going to start by asking you, well, I'm going to start by asking you a question. Um, how often do you go shopping? How often do you go shopping? 
And what do you normally go shopping for? For example, um, I think that I go shopping twice a month, probably two times a month, sometimes three. Uh, and normally uh, when I go shopping, I go shopping for uh, home supplies, like um, buying things to, to fix the house or to do something at home. Uh, so I go to different stores like Freum, Vidri, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, I also like to buy things for gardening because I am ki kind of um, creating a garden in my house. So um, I like to buy things for that. And um, the other reason why I normally go shopping is for food or for things that I need for work okay so those are the the two main reasons why i go shopping for so in your case how often do you go shopping well do you like shopping first of all how often do you go shopping and what do you go shopping for do you go shopping for food for clothes for shoes for i don't know for medicine maybe you have to buy medicine frequently or what any volunteer who wants to share his or her answers? Hello, welcome, uh, Julian, uh, Margarita, Teresa, and Roberto. Good night, okay. teacher. Hello, good evening. So let me ask Soveda, um, how often do you go shopping? I I go to the shopping for clothes for um mm -hmm. it for it maybe uh -huh. once times one times in, in the weekend. So once a week. Once a week. Once yes. a week. Okay. So you and go shopping for food and for clothes. Food. Okay. Yes. And close maybe one time cada mes. Once a month. Once a month. Once yes. a month. Okay. Once a month. Excellent. Thank you, Soveda. We continue with the next volunteer that I am going to select. Um, let's listen to Teresa. Hi, good night. Hello, good evening. Um, sorry, teacher, I don't understand. So the question is, how often do you go shopping and what do you go shopping for? What do you normally go shopping for? What do you like, what do you buy when you go shopping? I go shopping uh, Uh, 15 days every 15 days every 15 days yes ah, okay at supermarket to the supermarket okay yes so, um maybe uh, everything three months uh, uh -huh. sometimes i shop in a uh, cloud Ah, so around every three months, uh, you go shopping for clothes. Yes. Okay, every three months, approximately. Very good. Thank you so much, Teresa. Now let's listen to a gentleman. Um, Julian, what about you? How often do you go shopping? And what do you normally buy? I go shopping um, uh, 15 a month cada, cada mes, or cada 15 cada mes, perdón. Ah, okay, every 15th of the month. Uh -huh. Okay. Y, and happy birthday. Ah, for birthdays. So mm -hmm. for celebration. February, February is 5th. Ah, okay. Excellent. 
Well, that's another reason for going shopping, right? To buy gifts. Maybe you have a lot of friends or family members. Okay, excellent. And how about you, Isaac? Hello. Hello. I usually go to the shopping uh, once a month for it and twice a year for clothes. Ah, okay. So once a month for food. Uh -huh. And twice a year for clothes. Okay. okay, excellent. So, um, yeah, I think it's part of our daily life, right? Like, we need to buy something. Now, I am going to uh, share the screen with you so that we can check the exercise that you uh, try to complete. And uh, it's about buying, right? So, how much is this necklace? How much is this one? So if you could study the demonstrative one and ones, uh, we use one for singular and ones for plural, right? And normally when we use one or ones, we have a previous reference. For example, um, you go to a store and you say, good morning, I want to buy um, shoes. Okay, um, which ones do you like? Which ones do you like? When you, when you hear the question, which ones do you like? Ones refers to what? You say, I want to buy shoes. And the person, the salesperson asks you the question, right? Which ones would you like? Or which ones do you like? So you understand that when they say which ones, they refer to the shoes. Uh -huh, to the shoes, very good. So um, if you say, I want to buy a cell phone, or you, want, you say, I want to buy that cell phone, and the person is like, okay, there are like five different options, right? Okay, which one? Um, I want the Alcatel. Okay, one. So the Alcatel. Ah, okay, here it is, right? So which one in that case refers to the cell phone? So um, let's suppose another example, you go shopping for jeans, you want jeans, okay? Uh, which one do you like? Or which ones do you like, right? Plural, which ones do you like? And you say, oh, I like the black ones the black ones if you say the black ones ones refers to what the jeans the jeans right so you can replace you can replace uh, the word that you are talking about or the words that you're talking about with the demonstrative one or ones okay um so i you can say for example you have two options right uh, so we have, let's suppose uh, the black cell phone and we have the blue cell phone. Um, which one do you like? And you say, mm, I like the, the black one, the black one. So one is replacing the word cell phone, right? So you don't have to say, I like the black cell phone. It's not necessary. You can say, I like the black one because the person knows that you are talking about this, the cell phone in this case. So we have uh, how much is for singular and how much are for plural. Now, another difference in this example is that we have this, that, these and those okay how can we separate or how can we understand these two uh groups or these two sets okay when we say this one and i mean this and this this is for singular okay wait i'm going to change this symbol okay so this is for singular. 
And this is for plural. These two words refer to close distance. Okay, close distance. So, okay, when the object is close to you. So you say, this is my cell phone, for example. This is my cell phone. Um, if I am here and my cell phone is in the living room, for example, it's not possible that I say, this is my cell phone. I am going to say, that is my cell phone because it's far from me. So we use that and those. Okay, these two right here, that and those, when something is far, when something is far. So is the opposite of close, right? Close, far. Um, okay, in this case, that is for singular and those is for plural. Let's go to the examples. We have um, the conversation number one. Excuse me, how much are those jeans? What is the answer? Letter B. Which ones? Which ones? Okay. Which ones? Which ones? Do you mean... Do you mean this? Do you mean this? Uh -huh. Do you mean this? Because you see the, the woman is close, is touching the, the jeans, right? Porque la vendedora está cerca de los jeans o está tocando los jeans. Por eso pregunta, ¿se refiere a estos? Okay. So Ooh. this, this, right? So we are using the word these. Okay. Mm -hmm this word right here this okay do you mean this no the light blue one one or once 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 because it's plural right jeans yeah. okay um so in english it's strange because they say uh jeans or pants as plural Okay, they consider them plural. It's not possible to say, uh, I have one jean. It's not possible to say that. You have to say, I have one pair of jeans. One pair of jeans. Okay, uh, you cannot say, my jean is blue. No, you say, my jeans are blue. Okay, los pantalones y jeans en general se, se entienden como plurales. Okay, in, Sp in Spanish, it's, di it's different, right? Because we say el pantalón. So we use, consider it singular, right? But in English, it's not possible to say the pant. I mean, one pant is not possible. You can say one pair, un par, right? One pair of pants. That's correct. Okay, let's continue. No, the light blue ones. Oh, what is the compliment here? These are, these, are. because it's near. Uh -huh. These are, right? These are, um, how much? How much are they? 59.95 cents. 59.95. 59.95. Okay. The point is not really necessary to, to mention that, to mention it. Okay, so you can say $59.95 and uh, $59.95, that's another option, right? $59.95. So the other option that we have is here, right? $59.95. Or you can say $59.95. That's it. Okay, next one. Uh, almost $60. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Bromeando, right? Number two. I like that. 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 Okay. Are we going to use this 
or that? That because that. Okay, what is the key word here? ¿Cuál es la palabra clave para decir que el, la correcta es that? It, because he said over there. Aha, uh -huh. over there. Por allá, right? So you understand that is far from the person, right? Over there. Okay, so uh, I like that backpack over there. Okay, how much is it? Is, is how much is it? How it. much is it? Right? How much is it? Okay. Continue. Which one? Which one? One, only one, right? Okay. Singular. Which one? The red ones. One. Ones. The red one. Only one. Oh, okay. One. The red one. Okay. Continue. It's Twenty-five ninety-nine. Twenty-five forty-one. For forty-nine. <laughs> uh, twenty-five. Mm. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven forty-nine. Okay, it's twenty-seven forty-nine. Or uh, no, the other option is twenty-seven forty-nine. Twenty-seven forty-nine. Twenty-seven forty-nine. Twenty-seven forty-nine. Dollars. And forty-nine. And 49 cents. cents. Excellent. And 49 cents. Right? So we have the option here, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. But, but, uh -huh, continue the conversation. That green. That green. That green. Uh -huh. That green okay. space, um, green, green ones, green one, one, one. one. only one. Okay, one. but that green one, not that green one, no, that green one, <laughs> uh -huh. that green one, one is only twenty-two dollars twenty-five cents. Twenty-two dollars and twenty-five cents. Or you can also say two twenty-five. Twenty-two twenty-five. Okay, twenty-two twenty-five. Okay, let me see it, please. Okay, let me see it, please. Very good. So this is the way that we solve the the exercise. So congratulations, you did a really good job. And um uh, let me check. I didn't write the answers here. Which ones? Which ones? Um, do you mean this? Do you mean this? Uh, no, the light blue ones. Oh, these are. Okay, these are. $59.95. Okay, perfect. Now we are going to practice the conversation. Okay. Uh, I need four volunteers, two volunteers for conversation one and two volunteers for conversation two. Raise your hand, please. Teresa and Rodrigo, conversation one, conversation two. Ten, 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 ten. Who are the hey. volunteers? Julian and Ana Maria. Julián, Ana María, raise the hand first. Okay, Julián fue más rápido, activó el micrófono y dijo, me. Okay, excellent. Um, let's check. Conversation one. Ready, set, go. Uh, you start the conversation, uh, Rodrigo, and then you continue with the conversation. Letter B, Teresa. Okay. One, It's two, three. Uh -huh. Excuse me, how much are those jeans? Which ones? Do you mean this? No, the light blue ones. Oh, these are $59.95. Okay. Almost $60. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Okay, very good. 
Let's give a round of applause to your classmates, please. Excellent, very good. And we continue with the conversation number two. So we have Julian and Ana Maria. Okay, Julian, can you please start the conversation? I like that backpack over there, how much is it? Which one? The red one. It's twenty seven forty nine, but that green one is is only it's only twenty two twenty five. Uh huh. Okay, let me see it, please. Let me see it, please. Congrats! Very good. So reactions for your classmates. Thank you so much to the four volunteers. The rest, don't worry, there are more opportunities later to practice and participate. Okay, so we're done with this. Do you have questions about this, that, these, those, and one and ones? Teacher, uh -huh. la pronunciación o la diferencia entre this, the singular, and, and this. this in plural. Okay, yes. the, the difference is that the first one is this, this, uh, the sound is short, it's, como una, uh, it's like a short E, como un sonido de E, corto, this, this, okay? And the other one is long, el sonido es largo, E, this, this, okay? And the other one is this, okay? And also here uh, in this one, we have the sound Z at the end, this in plural, this, okay? And the other one is just this, so it's more like an S sound. So this, for example, this is my hand. This is my hand, only one. These are my hands. These are my hands. So it's a little different. Okay, now, um, good question. Okay, good question about the difference in pronunciation. Okay, no more questions. So no questions. No problem. That means that everything is clear like coffee and we continue with the next one. Okay. Now you are going to start thinking like a salesperson and like a customer because we are going to do some role plays. Okay. As you know, role play is something very, very good to practice the language, to learn the language because you put yourself in the position of another person. For example, a role play can be uh, between a chef and the waiter or between the waiter and the customer in the restaurant, right? So like, good morning, my name is Freddie. I'm going to be uh, serving you tonight. How can I help you, right? Or, or what can I do for you? Or what would you like to order? Here's the menu. Okay, and then the other person is like, oh, thank you so much. I would like to order a pepperoni pizza with some cinnamon sticks and a large soda, please. Okay, so everything will be ready in 15 minutes. I'll be back. And then you take the menu, blah, blah, blah. So that's a role play. In this case, you are going to uh, practice like if you are buying something and the other person is the salesperson right the the seller um or simply the the clerk right uh, working at a store so uh, in your in this case you are going to select probably um you're going to invent right the the objects that you want to buy so maybe you imagine that you are at siman right and you are in the sports area or in the electronics area, right? So you have to discuss with your partner what is going to be the scenario, who is going to be the customer, who is going to be the clerk, right? And then you start asking questions like, let's suppose that you are at um, the furniture, the furniture department at La Curazao, okay? So let's say that in this case, I am the clerk and you are the customers, okay? Ya en grupo a comprar. So I am the clerk and you're going to ask me questions. 
So uh, let's suppose that you want to buy a computer desk, a computer desk. So that's the scenario. You are the, the customers. I am the clerk. We are at a furniture area and the furniture area in the store. Okay, and you want to buy a computer's desk. Ready, set, let's go. Hello, good morning. Uh, well, good evening. How can I help you? Yes, I like this computer. The computer desk. Okay, Jancy. Good evening, I need a computer. A computer desk? Okay. Uh, this um, computer. Okay, so um, do you want a large computer desk or a medium or a small computer desk? Soveda? Small computer. Small computer desk, Jancy says that. Soveda, do you have another question about the desk? Yes, I need to know the capacity for the, the fast computer. Okay. So let's say that we're going to change the, the, the scenario. So okay. you want to buy a computer, uh -huh. uh, the capacity. Well, we have uh, this Lenovo is a new computer. It's really fast and it has uh, one terabyte of uh, memory and the RAM is eight gigabytes. So it's a really good computer. Okay, what is the price? What is the price? That's one option. What is another possible question that you can ask about the price? How much? How much this? How much is it? Or how much is this? Uh -huh. uh, well, this Lenovo, it's $1,500. Okay. A comment about the price? Thank you, but no, thank you. <laughs> thank you, but no, thank you. Okay. Uh, well, we, it's expensive. It's really expensive. expensive. Okay. So ask me, ask me if, uh, if there is another option. Okay. So, oh, after. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you say like, okay, sorry, I'm, I'm getting a call right now. So I'll, I'll come back tomorrow. Okay. So, um, or you can say, I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm just looking, right? I'm just looking. So Lando viendo, right? <laughs> so uh, good. So that's what you're going to do. In this case, you are going to go to the breakout rooms. One of you is going to be the customer, another is going to be uh, a clerk. But the idea is that you want to buy something. So you have to discuss the scenario, ask for options, like how much you want to buy, for example, glasses, right? How much are these glasses? Um, they are $50. Okay, and how much are those? Uh, they are $25. Oh, 25, it's okay. So you can give some comments. Okay, um, you can invent, right? And you say, uh, do you take credit cards or just cash? And then you start like, no, you can pay with credit card, no problem. Okay, so I will, I will buy them. Okay, here you are. Okay, then you do the, the, the mimics, right? Okay, here are your glasses. Here's your, your credit card. Thank you for uh, shopping here. Have a good day, goodbye, and that's it. And then you switch. You are the customer and your classmate is the clerk. And you think about a different scenario. Okay, you want to buy, for example, a cell phone. And then you start asking for uh, characteristics about the cell phone. And then you ask for the price, the brand, if it is Samsung, if it is Alcatel, whatever. Okay, so um, that's what you're going to do right now. Pay attention to the indication, right? Uh, you have to ask questions and the other person is going to answer questions and do the role play, saying hello, saying goodbye, right? And that's it. Ready? It's similar to the conversation that we practiced in the previous exercise, okay? So you can use that as an example. I am going to, well, you can take a screenshot if you want. I am going to send you to the breakout rooms in pairs, in pairs. So. It's clear like my soul. 
It's crazy like your soul. Okay, I hope it's Así really good. Quiebra con esto. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably, especially with Salvadorian shopping. Yeah. Uh, let me check. Eight. Okay, I'm going to create just seven breaker rooms. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. Okay, so I am going to create one more. Okay, perfect. So we have everybody here. Yes. So for this activity, you are going to have just four minutes. Okay, and then we come back. Ready, set, go. Be creative, okay? Use your creativity. That is really important. Invent if necessary. Let's go party. Okay, let's go shopping. Here you go. Excellent. Accept the invitation. Okay, Loida, are you there? Hello, hello, Loida, can you hear me? All right, let's go and check. Déjeme su número para compartir por WhatsApp. ¿Tiene WhatsApp? Sí. What do you need? Ah, es que no no tiene la captura. The screenshot. Okay, let me let me share the the screenshot with you. Well, the screen with you. You are basically going to invent a conversation, a scenario where one is a customer and the other one is a clerk. Okay, and you want to buy something. Ready, Elias? Yes. Yes, okay, excellent. Good evening, can, can, I, can you help? Can you uh, help me? Okay. Uh, I need a smartphone. Ah, okay. So, so Ada, you are the clerk and Julian is the customer. Yes, I so, spell. Okay, so you can say, uh, how can I help you? Or how may I help you? Mm -hmm. How may I help you? How may I help you? Yeah, or can okay. I help you? Yeah. Can I help you? Okay. Can. Excellent, continue. Okay. What is wipes bodas? Come on, perdón. Sorry. Do you I need can... ashes? What colors do you need? Uh, white, please. White. What? Okay. Uh, I uh, I this. Do you do you want do you want a cell phone, Samsung? Yes. Okay. Okay. You want to talk to the manager, okay? No problem. Your camera hey. is good and is the mayor capacity for the other model? Uh, promotions. <laughs> Did you finish? More or less, t-shirts. More or less, okay. <laughs> you have just around 30 seconds more. Así es. Good 
Hello. Hello. Did you finish? Yes. Okay, excellent. So the time is over. We're going back to the main okay. session. Okay. See you in a moment. Okay, we're back here and we're ready to go on. Let's just wait for the rest of your classmates to come back. <laughs> it's not easy. It's not easy to be a, a salesperson. It's not easy. I don't have money. <laughs> Nadie me compró. So probably they were just window shopping. That, that's probably the reason. They were just window shopping. That's if you want to say bit vitrinear, that's the way that you say it in English. Window shopping. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's go on with the next part. So uh, in this case, we are going to continue with the next exercise because today we have more things to cover, right? Um, the pronunciations uh, here is just about sentence stress, okay? Uh, as you can see, there are some examples. For ex The first one is, excuse me. So it goes uh, up and then down. In English, well, in any language, we have rising and falling intonation. So, uh, for example, when you say, uh, how are you? How are you? So it goes up, right? How are you? But if you say, how are you? It goes down. So you have that's something that is normal in English. Okay. Can I help you? Can I help you? Right. Um, and then you are. Uh, Teacher. Hello. Sorry. What is the difference in how are you from how are you? No, it's just the, it's just the intonation. So es la intonación. Ah, okay. Ajá, el, 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 donde pone la mayor fuerza de voz. El, Si al final o en medio, right? Uh, so, for example, we have, excuse me, they're perfect, perfect, right? So the stress is in the first syllable. They're perfect for you. They're perfect for you. The stress is in per. Uh, I like the blue one, blue one. They're not very attractive. They're not very attractive. So in English, something important is that you put more stress to the word that is more important for you. For example, if you want to say, uh, I want to buy a pair of jeans. I want to buy a pair of jeans. You put more emphasis to jeans because you want the person to understand that. Okay, which ones do you like? I like the black ones. I like the black ones. Uh, you put more emphasis to black, okay? Uh, if you say, for example, something simple, I love you. When you say, I love you, you put more emphasis to you because you want the person to understand that you don't love another person, only him or her. So I love you, right? It's different to say, I love you, right? I love you. So you put more emphasis to love, I love you. So, but you can say, I love you. you. The emphasis is I, not another person. I love you. So depending on, depending on the stress, depending on the stress is what you express. Uh-huh. So that is something that you have to pay attention, right? You want, so for example, if you are shopping and there is a, let's say you're making a line, you're making a line in a restaurant and there's a person that just gets in the line in front of you. Okay, look, the typical thing, right? Que alguien se mete en la línea, en la fila. And you say, excuse me, I came here first. And you say, you emphasize on first uh, because you want to, the person to understand that you were before him or before her. So it's something similar that of what we do in Spanish, okay? Um, when, for example, something funny, te dije que no lo hicieras. Se han fijado que ponen el énfasis en no. Ok. Porque, no. Ajá. Eh, 
So that is the example of the sentence stress. You can play with that. You can play with that. Okay, let's continue. Uh, we have materials. So in this case, something that uh, we are going to learn is vocabulary. For example, we have the number one that is a plastic bracelet. A plastic bracelet. The bracelet. material. The material is. Plastic. 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 Okay, plastic. What is uh, cotton? What is cotton? Algodón. Algodón. Very good. So that is that is one. What is um, leather? Leather. Era Yes, that's correct. It's cuero. Okay. Leather. Okay. What about wool? Wool. What's that? Wool. Lana. Lana. Yes. And how about rubber? Mm -hmm. Google time. I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. What is it? I don't remember. Rubber is a material. Caucho. Uh huh. It's a material of the tires uh -huh. of your car. So it's caucho or ule. Okay. So That's rubber. What about silk? Silk. Rubber. Seda. 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 Okay. And then you know silver and gold, right? It's something that we are familiar with. Um, so pronunciation, okay? Listen and repeat. Cotton. Cotton. Rubber. Rubber. Gold. 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 Silk. 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 Leather. Silk. Leather. Leather. Silver. 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 Plastic, plastic and wool. 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 Okay. So what is number two? Uh Jancy? Number two. Gold. Uh, gold, ring. gold ring. Yes. Excellent. Number three. Uh, Veronica. Number three. Do we have Veronica here? She was here. Okay, maybe she's not listening. So, Maide, can you give me the answer for number three? Silk. A silk no. tie. Silk. Yes, a silk tie. Yes. Number four, uh, Kevin. Kevin or, hello? Okay. Wool. 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 Socks. <laughs> wool socks. That's correct. Yeah. Uh, wool socks. Then we continue with the number five, Margarita. What is number five? No. So, Sonia? A leather. A leather jacket. jacket. A leather jacket, correct. Jacket. What about number six, Loida? Loida, are you there? Cotton. Cotton? What? Cotton. A cotton? Shirt. Shirt. Okay, what about number seven? I am going to ask. Okay, Rodrigo. Silver earrings. Silver earrings, correct. Silver earrings. And number eight is the last one. Julian. Rubber. Rubber butts. Rubber boots. Rubber, rubber boots. <laughs> Correct. Rubber boots. What you need to, when it's raining, right? When it's raining, rubber boots. Okay. Those are the answers. 
Um, okay, now we're going to move on to the next one. This is just a little vocabulary exercise. Don't forget, right, about some of the new words. You have to copy them in your notebook and then you practice uh, the pronunciation. You invent examples to use the word. Okay, that's something that you have to keep in mind and something that I tell my students. Oh. It's important to learn to know vocabulary, but it's more important to know how to use the vocabulary in context. Okay, aprender. Saber mucho vocabulario es importante y necesario, pero es más importante saber cómo utilizar el vocabulario. Okay, así que no se queden solo con las palabras y la traducción o el significado, sino que también piensen en ejemplos que, en que puedan utilizar esas palabras. Ok, y métanlas en las conversaciones cuando practiquen, ok, para que sepan el con, cómo meterlas en contexto. Ok, so um, let's move on. Ok, which one do you prefer? So this is a little conversation that you are going to practice in the breakout rooms. So we have Anne and Sue and we have a clerk, right? Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Mm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's $499. Would you like to try it on? Um, no, that's okay. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. Okay, so it's a conversation among three people, right? So we are going to practice. We're going to practice pronunciation of some words. Maybe uh, stylish, that would be one. Uh, price tag. Price tag, that's another one here. Price tag, that's the viñeta, right? When you see the price of the products. Um, would you like to try it on? Try it on. You make a connection there, link sounds, remember? Um, warmer, warmer, that's another word. It's más calentita, right? Pared, se mira más caliente. Looks warmer. Um, and that's it. So, you can take a screenshot of the conversation because right now we are going to practice in groups. So in this case, we the price is $499, okay? It's not colones, it's not lempiras, it's dollars. So we have to mention that it's $499. Okay, so ready to practice. I am going to create just five breaker rooms. Let me check. We are 17, let's say 16. So that will be enough. Okay. So the majority of you are going to be in groups of three. Okay. And let me just move one person to the breaker room number three. Okay. Ready? You have just three minutes to practice the conversation. Remember, and Sue and the clerk. If you have time to change the, the role, do it. Go now. I was born ready. Okay, perfect. Accept the invitation quickly. There you go. Just three minutes and then we come back. Hello. Hello. Okay, ready? Hello. Let's practice. Ready. Okay. Let me share the screen with you. Okay, so who is Anne? My dad. Okay, thank yeah. you, my dad. Who is Sue? Kevin or Elias? Who wants to be Sue? Anne. I. Yeah, you Joe. are N. Okay, Joe. Kevin. Uh, Kevin, you are Sue. So Elias, you are the clerk. 
Okay? Ready? Primero que el fue pollo. Set and go. Okay? Okay. Look this jacket look. are look. <laughs> this jacket are really nice. Which one do you prefer? Which one do you prefer? Prefer. prefer. With with one do you prefer? I like it. The world one better. The world one? Why? It looks warmer. Will I like the letter one better? It's more still. Stylish? Stylish. Than? <laughs> Stylish. Than the world one. Mm, mm, there's no price, thanks. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? Yes. Claire. Yes. It's four hundred. It's four hundred ninety-nine. Ninety-nine dollar. Uh -huh. Would you like to? To try it on? Try to try it on? No. Try it. Se escucha como que fuera try y nada más. Try it on. on. Try it on. Would you try like on. to try it try on? Try it on. Try it on. Okay, try it on. Okay, would you like to try it on? My dear? Oh, no. Thanks. Okay. But, but, bye or boy. But, 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 thanks. thanks. Anyway. I, anyway. Thanks, but, anyway. Thanks. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. Because of time, we're going Thank to you. stop here and we go back to the session. But that's the way that you do it. Okay. So you have to pay attention to the words that are difficult to pronounce. And then you uh, investigate, right? In a dictionary or something. And then you repeat. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Okay. See you in some seconds. All right, we have just four people coming back. The rest are still in the breaker rooms. They are coming. Okay, so we have nine participants now. Okay, the rest are coming back. So the topic that you practice within the conversation is called preferences or comparisons. This is a very important topic. This is a very important topic in English because we do this frequently, okay? We do, uh, we compare things. For example, we talk about sports and you say, no, Aguila is better than Alianza. No, Alianza is better than FAS. No, Barcelona is better than Madrid. So we start making comparisons, right? Or you say, no, Tigo is better than Claro. No, but Claro has better connection. And then you start uh, with, the, with the comparisons. So uh, you can say, my father is more intelligent than my brother. You say, but my mother is more intelligent than my father. So there are many comparisons that we can make. In this case, we have the examples. Which one do you prefer? It's another question. Which one do you like better or which one do you like more? For example, if I ask you the question, uh, which one do you like better, pizza or hamburger? Opinions? Pizza. And you pizza. say, I like Both. pizza, I like pizza better. You say that, Both. right? But some Both. people say, I, I like hamburger better. Okay. Uh, oh, pizza is better. <laughs> which, which one do you, which one do you prefer? Which one do you prefer? Uh, sleeping or listening to music? 
Sleeping. 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 Okay. Prefer sleeping. I prefer sleeping. I think it was it was an easy question. Okay, what do you prefer? Watching movies or watching series? I prefer both. Watching movies, both. I like both. Watching movies, both. Okay. I prefer yeah. watching movies. Okay. Literally. Um, which one do you prefer? Which one do you prefer? Um, let's say, talking about movies. The which one do you prefer? Harry Potter or the Hunger Games? I like Harry Potter. Potter. Harry Potter. Okay. Harry which Potter. one do you prefer? Superman or Spider-Man? Spider-Man Spider 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 is better. Ah, Spider-Man is better. Who do you think is stronger? Who is stronger, Spider-Man or Superman? I think Superman. Is Superman, Superman is stronger. Superman. But Spider-Man is better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, you see, that's the way that we make comparison. For example, we have cheap. The comparison is cheaper. Nice. Nicer, nice. pretty, prettier, prettier. big, bigger. bigger. Okay, so on Monday, we are going to have a debate. Vamos a tener un debate el lunes. Okay, so we are going to express <laughs> preferences. Okay, so my, the only uh, assignment that I'm giving you is study this. I am going to share some links with you on the WhatsApp group so you can practice and study more about this topic because it's very important. And I want you to learn more but than what is- Tranquila, tranquila, tranquila. Okay. So in this moment is, well, right now is picture time. So it's necessary that we turn on our cameras to take the screenshot with all the students on the camera. Okay. Rodrigo hasta jacket se puso ahora. Okay. <laughs> okay. Vamos a ver. Let's see. We have full screen. Wait a moment. Okay. Excellent. Teresa is wearing the mask, protecting herself. So, Veda, are you working? It yes, looks like I work. Oh, okay. Okay. So, I'm working to you. Okay, let me check. Ready? So, don't move. Smile like a happy face, right? Like a Colgate smile. Sonrisa Colgate. Um, by the way, the pronunciation in English is Colgate. Okay. <laughs> Colgate. Colgate. Yeah. Colgate smile. Okay, ready? Don't move. One, two. There is Margarita. Excellent. One, two, and three. Okay, wait, wait a moment. I'm going to paste the picture somewhere here. Okay, and the crazy picture. One, two, three. <laughs> That's so crazy. Okay, no fue tan loca, pero that's okay. <laughs> so, um, do you have any questions or comments about this week, guys? Anything that you would like to ask, to suggest, to come, to say? I like very much the quizzes. The quizzes. The like the quizzes. quizzes. Okay. That man is very. Thank you very much. It's very yeah. interesting, cada class. The class is interesting. Every class. Thank Every you class. so much. I hope that you learn something new, right? Every, okay. every every class so that's my objective and i hope that this weekend you can relax you can rest you can study a little bit but most important is that you can practice something watching videos yes. listening to something reading writing okay escribiendo un diario personal en inglés whatever you want to do but in english okay chatting with your friends in english maybe in the united states with a little gringo or gringa whatever you want okay watching tiktoks in english youtube videos in english it's okay no problem and that's it that's it so thank you so much for everything have a good night i will see you on monday okay god bless okay. you all guys I see you monday bye 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 bye, bye. 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 bye.
Good night. Good night. Good night. See you on Monday. See you on Monday.